Hey guys, it's been a long time since I made any updates or videos on what's been going on in the shop, but uh, yeah, it's been a long road with the OF350 and the 6.0 stroke from Reviva that just could not stay together because of a lifter going down and I'm really trying to focus on that yeah anyway um, managed to find some great used parts um, from around the East Coast for this thing uh, I think everything's gonna be okay but with everything that's been going on this is like day 20 or 22 um, with this engine I had to strip it down to not bare block but at least to the bottom end um there was some debris in the uh pressure relief valve and then the uh uh the anti-bleed back valve and then the filter drain valve i went ahead and replaced that but i don't know how many of y'all have been into these things i've seen lots of videos um I set the timing, no problem. You don't need the damn Ford tool. That's a bunch of freaking crap. And really and truly, if you're good enough with a piece of two before, you don't even need the freaking tool from uh, uh, Freedom Diesel or whoever sells the rear main seal installation tool. Um, but I've been doing this crap for a long time. Anyway, um, I did follow some advice from some of the... Uh, younger than me senior techs on these things uh, as far as the, the, the six o'clock uh, position on the uh, you know you see it there to uh, you know before you start doing your heads and whatnot and it really works and thank you guys I can't quote everyone that was involved in those videos but you know um, here it is spring and the freaking Yamaha hammer has went down um, had some fuel injection issues we had a stuck uh, stuck open number one and a dribbling number three two and four were okay um, this is the uh, the MR1 uh, uh, jet ski brothers I told y'all I had some issues and wasn't joking uh, but the old uh, the old SL 780 man Frisco Boater, dude, I've watched a lot of your videos. And SBT, Clearwater, Florida, uh, out there in Cletus's neighborhood. Hey, you guys, I promise, if you ever get a motor from SBT, uh, dude, hands down, the best 800 bucks I ever spent. Like, I couldn't even rebuild that thing for 800 bucks. I mean, really, I couldn't. By the time I index the crank and weld it, ain't no way in hell. But, um, so anyway, everything's looking good. Um, I just got my injectors from CS Performance. Um, these things look great. Uh, I just have way too many freaking projects going on at one time uh you know aside from the cam like <laughs> i just put a oh, uh, i do so many things spend so much time away from the family like literally this is our family well you can see the baby doll this is our congregating spot like someone wants to talk to me we got we got bar stools chairs uh I live for this stuff, but man, sometimes I'll tell you what, like, I really get tired of working on stuff sometimes. I've been doing this crap almost 25 years, and there's just never enough time. You've got to make time for family. You know, I done told this guy, I said, listen, you know, I am fixing, you know, spring's here, early summer. I'm not going to sacrifice my time from my family when I have a full-time job and then I'm coming home and doing this crap for 
an additional four hours a night. I mean, like, literally, it's past 11 o'clock right now. And, man, look, <laughs> I'm doing this stuff to save you some money. I'm doing this at roughly 50% the cost of what most Power Stroke shops going to cost you to work on your stuff. But whatever, you know, I work on Navistar for a living. So, you know, it's not anything to me. I just, I just chuck it and duck it, man, like all the time. So... I'm just going to keep rocking with it, um, stopping for tonight, and I'm going to um, change the training fluid in the wife's uh, town and country tomorrow because we got to pull this rig um, down to Barkley, and we're going to enjoy the weekend. I'm going to have a five-day weekend and take a load off and enjoy myself with the kids and Try to pull somebody on the tube and see if we can't get wild and crazy because that's the way I like to rock it with the kids. You know, they get on your nerves. You wait till spring and summer and you get them on the tube and then you show them who's boss. Uh, but anyway, yeah, shout out to all those people. Man, love y'all. Love the videos. Um, and uh, I'm just trying to wing it out here in the hot shop so uh yeah keep it tuned to uh kenny's choppers because there's just you never know what's going on around here like for real we could be working on power strokes we could be working on tracks and stuff i mean really you never know we could be stocking the shelf we could be stocking that one uh we could be getting drinks we could be getting oh my gosh all kinds of stuff this 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 man who knows we just we do everything um and the kids could be involved too and you just never know what we're into but you know besides that like i try to keep up with everything there are chicken scratches all over that it's just it's busy all the time like i really don't have time to make videos i really wish i did because the advertising would be great but man when you've got all this going on you know, I got to get the clutch. I mean, resurfacing the heads. I got to block the heads. I just got the heads blocked and installed. And man, there's just there's not enough time. It's it's just one thing after another. If I'm not here, I am on a city street here in town after work with a jack, stands, blocks, cribbing, and like yesterday, I went and changed the starter. Like. On the, on the side of a freaking alley but that's what it's about you know it's what i live for and you know if i'm if i'm not if i don't have a wrench in my hand i'm not happy so you know it's just one of those things it's 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 money 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 but man it ain't never enough damn money you know so anyway yeah y'all be cool and uh you know keep that grind i can't wait for the gym to open up man i done got weak like seriously I done got small. Done got small. Hey, Julius Maddox getting ready to set the bench press world record. He from OBKY. All right. My hometown. That's where we at. Yeah. Peace, y'all.